Now let's write the code for step 5. So I will tell step 5 over here and then I will write the code protected underscore bind all events and over here it is going to be the return type void and then we need to write the code this dot dom element dot query selector and we should provide the button id let's grab the button id over here that is btn create and i found one issue over here let me first complete this one then we will fix that issue and over here we need to specify hash button create and then we need to add the event listener add event listener and which event it should be click event and then we need to specify the anonymous function and we write over here is dot create item whenever create button gets clicked to so this function gets called now we are done with our pipe coding while navigating through i found there is one issue while doing the typing over here it is just referencing the control but we want the values so to grab the value we need to specify the value over here so let's specify that value because we want the controls value so we will repeat the same over here for each of the individual controls theme is for this one now before executing it let's verify the site url whether we are forming the site url correct or not so and over here we are making our site url and over here also we did a mistake instead of site it should be web and another thing is that we are missing slash over here so we need to specify that else your url will not form correctly and you will get the error now save it and let's build and run it so how you will do that we need to go inside the terminal new terminal and over here we need to specify gulp build so this will build our code and it started building our code now build is completed now next we need to write gulp serve minus minus no browser enter so this will run the server and once it will run the server we will go to the hosted workbench and there we can test our web part now it is started running the server now server is started let's go to the hosted workbench so guys i am inside the hosted workbench let's add the web part over here and then test it so what we will do we will specify the value over here john and the email is going to be john at abc.com i will select batch 2 intermediate and click on create and you will see that we got a message called item created successfully so let's verify inside our list event registration list let's open that copy this one come over here paste it and then i will go to the event registration and over here you will find an entry over here see that we have successfully created an item inside this list and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session now let's go back and let's wrap this session so guys in this session we have seen the implementation of the create list item functionality where we have gone through all these five steps in step one we have created the variable which holds the input which we are passing through the control then we proceed further and we have done the step two where we have imported the http module to perform the http operations then we proceed further and then we have completed a step three where we have created the url body and the header and at a step four we have prepared the restful call within our spfx client side web part application and at last we have implemented the click event where we binded our all the functionality which we have created from step 1 to step 4 and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session see you in the next session till then bye bye take care